Hi, good morning and welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm here by myself today because we are currently in the Canary Islands because Camilla is recording content for her brand new fitness app, which is literally launching in just about a month. And if you follow my Instagram, you already know this, but Camilla and I went to the Canary Islands exactly two years ago. And it was honestly not the best experience because while we were there, we figured out that Camilla's videos were trending on Twitter under the hashtag average spo, which basically means that people were using Camilla's videos as inspiration not to eat, which was, as you can probably understand, absolutely horrible, but my wife just used it as motivation. And I remember it so well, how she literally sat down on the bed and she was like, Julie, I'm gonna make an app that helps everyone understand that the most important thing about life isn't how you look, it's how you feel. And I'm gonna make this fitness app with workouts that make you feel good, that aren't there to change the way you look or give you a six pack or help tone you up. And at the time it sounded like such a vile dream but now we're literally here back in the canary islands exactly two years later and Camilla is recording content for this app isn't life just absolutely wild but let's get into the video so obviously camilla baby son and i we live in norway so we have to go on a five and a half hour flight to get to the canary islands and baby son is just over three months so we were really really nervous to travel with him we did try to vlog the entire journey but it turns out that vlogging with a three month old isn't always the easiest job so i'm gonna walk you through the entire journey and then i'll put the footage in between and hopefully all of it makes sense and if you're traveling with a little baby soon then hopefully you get some tips and tricks so we obviously wanted to make the journey as comfortable as possible for our baby and since we live two hours away from the airport we decided to check into our hotel next to the airport so that the road trip ended up being on one day and the flight on another and camilla also went to check in our luggage the evening before the flight i am so pleased with myself for going here delivering the suitcases now so we don't have to do that we'll wake up at what 4 a.m in the morning just being able to wake up, go here with the baby, the stroller, not having to bring four suitcases with us. It is gonna be epically worth it. Go me. The flight was scheduled for really early in the morning. I think departure was 7 a.m. So we had to get up at 4 a.m. So we woke up and got ready and Camilla was absolutely freezing. I don't know how many times she mentioned that it was cold, but it was a lot. Oh, we're getting ready to go to the airport. Oh, we're getting a hotel. And it's been so cold. Or could you not? I had to sleep with my clothes on. Because it's freezing in here. <laughs> <laughs> I need a hotel. You don't have your Red Bull. Sometimes it's too cold. It's too cold for Red Bull. Yeah. Today is... Day 365 of freezing our asses off. I'm just gonna ignore you. Today is 21st of January 2024 and baby Sunny is going on his first like plane trip situation thing <laughs> ever. Willow usually doesn't speak in the morning and we usually get ready separately. So she's not very impressed with me if we're getting ready next to her. I cannot believe it's gonna be Sunny's first time on a plane today. I know. I cannot believe it. What the hell? And even that, where has the time gone? Ugh. That's the craziest part, isn't it? After we were done getting ready, we got Sunny ready and then it was just heading off to the airport. Yeah. Det är tidigt på morgon. Ska vi ändå ha den this is where we've been staying. It's literally right next to the airport. Are you excited? I'm a little bit scared. Are you excited? Uh, not yet. <laughs> Now, honestly, thank God that Camilla had already checked in our suitcases because we were already struggling with the hand luggage and the special luggage as well. Okay, first thing is finding the special oh, luggage. Gosh. Yeah, thing. I think I have to go to the, the, the reception thing and ask. Okay. Let's go ask. 
since this was our first time traveling with a baby, we didn't really know what we needed. So we decided to bring both the car seats and the stroller. And in retrospect, I'm really happy that we did. We've been here for a few days now and we have used the stroller every single day. And we've also rented a car and just having your own car seat it feels a lot safer for some reason so when we got to the airport we had to go to a different part of the airport than we normally do to check in our special luggage i'm gonna try and check in the stroller and the car seat they told me i had to go to the desk area and get like a tag and then to special luggage as soon as we figured out where we were going it was a quick process and then when we were done checking in we moved on to the security part of the airport and i had no idea that there was a special section for families traveling first of all there was no line no line whatsoever we just walked right through and you're allowed to bring fauna you're allowed to bring liquids you're allowed to bring anything your baby needs basically so i was really positive positively surprised by that like that was absolutely amazing and so quick and i was just baby wearing sunny through the entire thing super quick super easy no issues whatsoever and once we were through security that was it we just walked straight through the tax free and then it was just buying some breakfast and finding our gate so far traveling with kids is this kids one kid let's be honest <laughs> two. It's me too two kids traveling with kids is the same as traveling alone except it's a lot more luggage and everything is more time consuming yeah only thing is we went like super fast through security check since we could go through the family family track we have to get some drinks for the plane if there's one thing that's for certain it's that when you get on the plane you get so thirsty so we always stack up on drinks before we go whenever you go abroad you need pringles so how many red bulls are you bringing one We're in the tax free and I need, we need a face cream. This is my favorite and Julie's favorite. Just gonna do a small, medium one. <laughs> they have gay Tony's chocolate. Let's go check which gate we're on. D8. <laughs> I'm getting a big iced matcha with vanilla. A latte? Thank you. Thank you. To the gate. To the gate. To the gate. The whole airport experience was honestly a really good experience for us. I was just baby wearing Sunny the entire time. He was napping. It was quick. It was easy. No issues. Now, when it was time to board the plane, Camilla and I had bought priority boarding. I don't know if you get that anyway. If you have a kid, you might. I have no idea, honestly. We just booked it in to be sure. So we were one of the first people who were walking on the plane. Sonny was still in his baby carrier. He was napping. We found our seat, sat down, and we got handed an extra seat belt for Sonny. So basically, my seat belt was here. And then there was an additional seat belt that we just pulled over my seat belt and then wrapped it around Sonny. At this point, Sonny was still sleeping, so I was getting a little bit stressed because obviously during takeoff, there's a lot of pressure and I'm sure you feel some pressure in your ears as well. You have to like, you know, the drill. I don't know what this is called in English, but get rid of the pressure. For little babies, you get rid of the pressure by giving them a bottle or putting them on the boob. And Sonny was still sleeping. Generally, waking up a sleeping baby just isn't a good idea, so... I was getting anxious. On top of that, I'm really scared of flying. My doctor has actually prescribed me anti-anxiety meds that I usually take before I fly, but now that I'm breastfeeding, I can't take them. So I was kind of scared. Hi. She's a bit scared. She's not a big fan of flying. But she's pretending, screaming, crying on the inside. No one can see. It was just an anxiety-filled situation, basically. I did my breathing exercises and I got through it and Sunny was sleeping the entire way up. Sunny woke up about two hours into the flight and I had to change his diaper. And obviously, when you fly without kids, you don't think about like changing rooms and changing tables and all that jazz. Like, that's just not something you consider. You just know that the airport toilet is really tiny and that's about it. So I walked in there and there is this thing that you can pull down. It goes from above the toilet, so you pull it down and it's somewhat of a changing station. It's tiny and you feel a bit like, wished but all in all it worked perfectly and Sunny didn't mind it so 
it was honestly absolutely fine. We went back to our seats, I fed him, Camilla played with him a bit, and then he fell asleep again. He woke up fussing a little bit a few hours after that. I put him on the boob again, everything was fine, he fell asleep again, and then we arrived. I was in shock about how smooth the journey went. And I honestly believe now, listen, this might just be a coincidence, but Camilla and I, we booked the flight in Sonny's prime nap time and it really did work. I put the baby carrier back on. We went out of the plane, onto the bus, over to the airport, collected all our luggage. And let's just say it was a lot of luggage. Obviously Camilla is working and everything. So we have a lot of equipment for her filming. I think we have like four tripods, lots of gym wear and everything that she needs to record for her app. And then we obviously have Sunny's suitcase that I overpacked, the stroller, the car seats. It was a lot but we honestly weren't too concerned about it we found those stroller things that you put the luggage on and we strolled our way out of the airport now we had rented a car so camilla went over to go pick up the car while i was waiting with sunny we've rented a car and i'm gonna go pick it up i just hope that i've rented one that's big enough <laughs> i got like the biggest one they had but okay that was not our line that's good that was some line. We always rent a car when we travel because it makes it so much easier to just get around and get stuff done and like go to the shop and everything. Um, so that's our way of getting to know the places that we visit. And we've rented from Top Car this time. I am right now really happy with that because the one that's rented from Sicar. I think their line is gonna take two hours three hours and there's only two in front of me and in retrospect i am so incredibly happy that we rented a car if you're gonna travel with a little baby i highly recommend renting a car if you can at least for me i get really nervous going in taxis in different countries because i don't know i just don't trust the people driving and it creates a lot of anxiety especially with a little baby so having Camilla drive who I trust wholeheartedly it really did make a difference although there was a moment there I wasn't really sure that we were gonna be able to even leave the airport with a car because there was so much luggage but in some miraculous way we managed to fit all the luggage in the car and we drove over to our Airbnb and the Airbnb we are staying in is absolutely beautiful Wow. Oh, we have barbecue. Yes. I measured before. Oh, that's so nice. Um, yes, I measured okay. before and it was a very good temperature. Right? So obviously we've just been here for a couple of days, so I can't really talk about bringing a baby on a two-week vacation yet, but the few days that we have been here have been absolutely amazing. Sun is absolutely thriving, he's loving it here, he's loving the pool and the warm weather and it's just honestly perfect since we've rented a car and everything going to the grocery store is super easy so we have all our meals in our airbnb we haven't really explored that much and we're not going to we're just gonna stay in our airbnb enjoy the pool and just have a good time while camilla is working we are gonna travel a lot this year with our baby so what we'll definitely redo for our next journey is we're definitely gonna bring a car seat we're definitely gonna bring a stroller we're definitely gonna rent a car that we can pick up from the airport we're definitely gonna bring a baby carrier because carrying him around on the airport it just made life so much easier if the baby is awake during takeoff or landing we will definitely nurse him or give him a bustle just to help with the pressure and even though we personally didn't have an accident on the plane that could have just been luck so i definitely also recommend bringing extra clothes for him and also yourself because if he's gonna spit up or do anything like that it's gonna be on you so you want to change the baby but you probably also want to change yourself other than that it honestly went a lot smoother than i would have 
ever expected. There were no issues. Everyone was so lovely. All the staff came over to us and they were so helpful and they explained all the security stuff and everything. It was honestly an absolutely amazing experience. And I can't wait to keep traveling with Sunny this year. We are going so many exciting places. We are going to London. We are probably going back to Spain to visit our friends. We are going to Thailand. We are going to Greece. I am honestly so excited. And I think that's it. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to put them in the comments or just DM me on Instagram. And I will try to get back to you to the best of my ability. Hopefully there will be a new video next Sunday and hopefully Camilla will be in it because it just doesn't feel right to do this by myself. You know, it's your favorite lesbian. It's a package deal. Anyway, you know the drill. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more of your favorite lesbians. And I'll see you next week. Bye, love you.